Welcome to Sage 500 ERP presentation, where I would like to show you how to create custom business inside Explorer tasks and SQL views. Business Insights Explorer contains tasks that allow you to navigate through data, preview and drill down into related data for the selected data row and customize and save filter settings for future use. Behind the scenes, each of Business Insights Explorer tasks is constructed as a SQL Server view stored in Sage 500 database. The view contains all of the required tables and associated joins linking the tables. The advantage of Sage 500 is that you can construct additional views in Business Insights Explorer tasks that you may require in your business. So what is a SQL view? A view is a virtual table based on the result set of a SQL statement. It's a query that is stored in the database and returns the result set of the query in which it is defined. The query that defines the view can be composed of one or more tables. A view returns one or more columns of the query in which it is referenced. Here's an example of the view that is composed from multiple tables, including inventory transaction table, warehouse table, item table, warehouse bin table, and many others. Uh, if I execute this query, the result sets of uh, this view, VDV inventory distribution, will uh, show the distribution records for posted inventory transactions. To create a new view in SQL Server using SQL Query Analyzer, you need to use create view statement. Two conditions must be met to make your view compatible with Sage 500 Business Insight Explorer. View name must start with VDV string and view must contain a column mapped to company ID. Also, views can be created from a single table, multiple tables, or another view. This is a syntax example used to create the Sage 500 view named VDV Invoice Memo and using SQL Server Management Studio. The view is giving you a, an information about all invoices and memos that have been attached to them. So the view name starts with the characters VDV and it contains a column named Company ID, both highlighted in yellow above. The Company ID column represents the Sage 500 company code associated with a given transaction or entity. It is recommended that the company ID returned is from the primary table within the view definition. And in this case, it is the table TCI memo. Another way to create SQL view is to use SQL Server Management Studio. The advantage is that you don't need to be familiar with the exact SQL syntax that is required when using SQL Query Analyzer. I have launched SQL Server Management Studio and logged into Sage 500 database with a user who has permissions 
to create SQL view, in this case, user admin. I will expand Sage 500 database and uh, with the right mouse click over the view folder, select the option new view. The add table dialog appears on the screen and on this screen uh, I will find and then select our tables and our tables are TCI memo and TAR invoice. And then I will define the relationship between the tables. Uh, in this case, uh, this will be a join between memo key and invoice key. And then I need to select all the fields that I need in my uh, view. So it'll be memo key, address, company ID, effective date, expiration date, memo ID, memo owner key, memo text, subject. Um, I could include actually everything, but I picked those. And then on the invoice side, I will select invoice key and then transaction ID. And I can say transaction amount and transaction date. And then one more thing actually on TCI memo table, I need to select entity type in order to narrow this down uh, only to invoices. So uh, basically I will use entity type to uh, filter my queries by invoices only and the entity type for an invoice is 510. That's the value for uh, entity type uh, invoice. So I can just type in 510. And as you can see uh, at the bottom, the system has automatically created uh, the syntax for this view. And, and the next and last step is actually to uh, name this view and give it a name. So I can use Control S here. And then it's, uh, I, I will uh, enter my view name, which is VDV Invoice Memo. Click on OK. And the invoice has been, uh, invoice memo view has been saved. Now I can open my views folder. And if I scroll down, I should be able to locate my newly created VDV invoice memo view. And here it is. After successful creation of SQL view, we can proceed to create a new Sage 500 Business Insight Explorer task that references uh, this view. So we will create a new Sage 500 task, link the task to our SQL view, and then add newly created Sage 500 task to the menu. After successful creation of SQL view, we can proceed to create a new Sage 500 Business Insight Explorer task that references the view. The following steps outline the procedures for creating and inserting the new Sage 500 Explorer task into Sage 500 Desktop. Please note that Sage 500 Administrator access is required. So first from the System Manager Tools folder, select the task editor task. Once the task list window pops up, you will need to click on add new task button. The task editor window will open and you will need to select the following. The launch type field needs to show .NET standard. 
the module will be Business Insight Explorer. You will need to select the appropriate SQL view from the drop down list that is looking directly into your Sage 500 database views. And the task type needs to be Data Explorer. Task ID is assigned automatically by the system and needs to be accepted. The name and the description will default from the view name and can be edited as needed. The other fields need to be accepted with the default values. After the task has been saved, proceed to add it to your Sage 500 menu. Select Business Insights module, then Cell Open Explorer folder, and then, for example, under Sales, use right mouse click and uh, select the option Create New Task, and then Sage 500 ERP Task. Uh, and in this window for the module, select Business Insight Explorer. For Sage 500 task, create the task that we just created, and that was invoice memos. And uh, for the settings, uh, leave the default value. And for the task name, uh, default is uh, invoice memos, but you can, uh, you can uh, type over uh, anything that uh, you need. Click on OK, and you will see your invoice memo task will show up immediately. So if you select the task that was just created within the business desktop, and that is invoice memos, once loaded, you will see all memos that are available currently within Sage 500 uh, database. And uh, users can create from here saved settings, including uh, grid summaries, uh, pivot tables, pivot charts, etc. And this concludes our short training on how to create SQL views and Business Insight Explorer task. Thank you for watching.